All right, today's video is about power, and it's just going to be a short one because power is very easy. Everybody always gets m confused about what power is, but power is nothing but how quickly, if I can spell quickly, how quickly, is that how you spell quickly? Good. How quickly you do work. So how quickly you do work. Say, for example, go to the weight room, grab a 135-pound bar. Well, there's a lot of people in this room right now that can probably bench press 135 pounds. I'm probably not the only one. But I'm willing to make a wager that if you throw me under the 135-pound, wow, that's, <laughs> yeah, that's a good-looking picture. It's actually kind of weird. But anyway, I'm willing to bet, though, I can do it quicker than anybody else in the room. I'm looking in the room. Yeah, I feel pretty safe about making that bet right now. So, sorry, Jake. I know you're thinking you got it. But, again, I feel confident there's quite a few of us can do it 10 reps. Power doesn't have anything to do with my ability to bench press 135 pounds 10 times. Power's got to do with what? How fast, how quickly am I able to do it? I can get under 135 pounds and na, 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 up, down, up, down, up, down, be done just like that. Some people might have to grind that out just a little bit slower. So let's write an equation for it and then use that equation. Power is not hard. Power is just a capital P. Power is equal to work divided by time. And that's all power is, is work divided by time. Uh, you need to have a unit for it. So all P is power. Well, if you look, power is work over time, which means power is a joule per second, or if you've ever looked at a light bulb before, you've seen power written on the light bulb. It's also measured in watts, so a capital W, so watts, if you get confused on that. So power is measured in watts. Uh, which is the same as a joule per second, which is a test question, but since I'm going to let you use your notes, that should not be a hard question tomorrow. So anyway, power is a joule per second, R watts. Now, in America, we usually use another unit, like if it's a car's power or something like that. A lot of times we use the unit of horsepower, and we're actually going to do a lab probably Wednesday or Thursday. It depends on the weather or whatever, and we're going to go do a lab outside. thought before break it would be nice to do a lab instead of starting anything new for you to forget over the break. One horsepower is 746 watts, and this is all we need to do the homework that I've got. And so what you're going to do most time is this. I'm going to go ahead and give you like a little cheat sheet. Has everybody got this road? Can I scroll past it? I'm going to hope no. Well, I'll start doing my cheat sheet then right here underneath it. You see, we know that power is work over time, right? Well, I'm going to go ahead and help you. Remember, work is equal to force times distance. So hopefully now you can see why work and power get put in the same little test with each other. Because a lot of times, guess what you got to do first? A lot of times you need to find work, and then what are you going to do? Take that work and put it right there, and you can find power. Now, I'm also going to help you out with something else a lot. I'm going to put a little star here. If lifting. There's a lot of problems where things are getting lifted or pick it up. Here you go. I'm going to help you cheat those really quick. We know that work is force times distance. Which means if you want to lift something, you're going to have to lift with a force equal to that object's. If you want to pick something up, the force you use would have to be equal to that object's what? Weight. Which means, now I want you to check this out. Work can be equal to, what's the formula for weight? W equals... So what we can do is replace force with the letter mg... And what's so great about that is anytime we lift something up, instead of FS, I can just write MGS. That makes sense if we're lifting something up. All right, so let's do a couple of examples. All right, here we go. Oh, I went too soon. Mm -hmm. Is everybody done writing this stuff? Sorry, unlike most Turdford videos, I'm now talking to somebody. All right, we good? Cool. Jake, are you good? That shirt is stellar, by the way. I mean, stunner. That would be the best word. Stunning. 
you are. You're like stunning today. I just thought I'd hook you up with that. Nothing to, wrong with a little bro love in the morning. All right, so let's start this out. First off, what is this? 2.0 times 10 and third joules of work. Well, it explains it. That's work. Time of 3.2 seconds. That's time. And then the question says, what is the power in both watts and horsepower? Now, when I do the formula, my answer comes out in watts, which means I'm going to have to do what? <laughs> yeah, what with watts? I'm going to have to convert it to horsepower. So for right now, just what's the equation for power? Power is equal to work over time. And what's cool is this problem gave me work. It said that the work is 2.0 times 10 to the third. And it said that power is 3.2. So all I got to do is put that in a calculator. Oh, no, I don't have a calculator handy. Where's my Casio? Da, da, da. So for me, 2, 10 to the third, divided by 3.2, and it looks like we got an answer of 625. Now, what is the unit for power? Get it? What is the unit for power? Ah, come out. That's good stuff. Ah, it's what. You got it. So now that is 625 watts, but this answer also wants you to Americanize it. So let's do this, 625 watts, draw our line, put her X, draw our line. How many horsepower, how many watts are in the horsepower? You just wrote it down, one page back. 746 watts for every one horsepower. So mathematically, what's about to happen here? 625 basically divided by 746. I got an answer of, well... 0.84 horsepower, which would actually be my right sig fig answer. Theoretically, 625 would not be my right sig fig answer. What would be my answer in sig figs? Two sig figs, 630. All right. So hopefully we are good with this one. Let's move on and do the other one. All right. An automobile is found to have a power of 210 horsepower. So we've got a power. Go ahead and take a guess what we're going to have to do with that 210 before we even start working. Convert it. I cannot use horsepower. I've got to get that in watts. Times 746 watts per horsepower. So this 210 horsepower car is going to actually be, let's see, 210 times 746 Looks like, whoa, 156,660. 156,660. 660. About got lost track of something. <laughs> Watts. Wow, that looks terrible. It's like one of y'all was up here writing it. <laughs> oh, much better looking. All right. How much work was done in the process of running the car for 85 seconds? What's 85 seconds? It's a time. Well, I know power is equal to work over time. Now, in this problem, what is this huge number? What is that? What did we just find? That's my power, and I gave you time. So I'm going to set 156660 equal to work over 85 seconds and that's all this problem math wise this problem's over now all you gotta know is how to finish it how you get rid of that 85 out from underneath the w divide i heard somebody say that would be exactly wrong because 85 is already dividing in the w i want to do the opposite of dividing by 85 multiply both sides by 85 and that way you can cancel it so multiply both sides by 85, and this number is going to be huge. Let's see if I got it. I still got that in my calculator. So times 85 equals, good grief, uh, 13,316,100. Uh, 13,316,100 uh, unit joules. The unit for work is a joule.
if you're doing sig figs, it'd be just 13 million even in sig figs, because there should only be two in this. So just 13 million. Which on test, I still say you need to do both. Because that way, if you do mess up rounding so bad that you miss the problem, I can look at this and tell you still got it right. And believe it or not, and there's some of you that fall in that category. Y'all actually miss it, the problem, completely when you round. But then when I go back and look, I can tell that you did it right. You just rounded wrong, which I don't take off any points for rounding wrong. You just don't get a bonus that way. All right. Last one. A car was pulled by a force of 15,000 newtons over a distance of 16 miles. Now, you are an advanced class, so what have I already done to mess this problem up? 16 miles, can I use that? So I'm going to go ahead and fix that. 16 miles times, how many feet are in a mile? You right. So there's 5,280 feet one mile times there's 3.281 feet one meter now i don't know how good you are in a calculator but you know one way you can actually do these in your calculator if you can sometimes goof this up you could literally put in here 16 over one this is not how i would do it but anyway you could do it this way times 5280 over 1 times, what's the last one? 1 over 3.281. Yeah. You could literally type it in your calculator like that if you wanted to. Somebody's looking at me weird. I'm just typing in YC. Does the 16 over 1 mess you up? Okay. In that case, equals. 25,748 meters, 25,748 meters. So that is my distance now. And it took 20 minutes. Ah! Can I use minutes? Hey, but this one's easy. Times 60 seconds. Two times six is 12. Add two zeros. So 20 minutes is 1,200 seconds. So I'm going to rewrite that a little bit neater. One more time. Come on. For the guys in the cheap seats. 1,200 seconds. So that is a time. So look at what I got. I got F, S, and time, and it said power. Well, the cool thing is power is work over time. Now, I've got time. It's 1,200. So I got time right there. Nah. I don't have work, but how can I get work? What's the equation for work? Work is equal to F times S. Do I have F and S? Do I have F and S? Yes. Now, I could go ahead and do this. I want you to watch something. We could do this. 15,000 times 25,748. And I could do that and get an answer. But guess what else you could do? And I'm wanting y'all to start doing this stuff more. It makes stuff quicker for you. Go back to the power equation. Power is equal to, what's the equation for work? What is W? FS. So what could I just replace the letter W with in that equation? Now I can just rewrite FS over T. It's going to be the same answer, but it just makes it quicker. 15,000 over, or excuse me, times 25,748 over, what was it, 1,200 seconds? And now I can literally go to my calculator, and I can even type that straight in there. So this is going to be 15,000 times 25748 divided by 1200 and the answer is 321,850 321,850 what is unit for power watts i don't think it asked for horsepower did it no if you did just remember your conversion factor is 1 horsepower to 746 watts that is basically it. 
The only other thing I'd give you coaching you is just remember, power is equal to work over time. Uh, I'll give you another equation. This comes in handy if you ever need it. Power can also, if you read a problem with a velocity, check this out. Power is equal to force times velocity. So if you're ever given a problem with a force and velocity, you can just multiply them and you got power super quick. You know that work is equal to force times distance. What about if there's an angle in the problem? Does anybody remember the equation for that? F cosine theta s, good. Also, if you want to find work and you've got a velocity, 1 half mv squared minus 1 half mvo squared, that comes in handy. And I'm going to put a little thing. If you are lifting something up, something that's very handy, instead of writing Fs, what can you write in place of F if you're lifting something? Mgs. So there, that is everything you need at this time. Oh, I'm going to throw that one little conversion now again. One horsepower equals 746 watts. Ladies and gentlemen, Elvis has left the building. Good night.